Hello everyone, this is Valences Belsevichus from AGA CAD and today I will show you how to renumber any Revit element and define sequence like this. So for that today I will use walls. I have uh, walls in the perimeter of this building and then uh, mark value is empty. So I have some tags which indicates that uh, mark uh, value is empty and I want to fill this parameter values with predefined rules. So for that I will use one of the tools what we have. So this is sort mark tool. It allows us to renumber any Revit elements in the model. And today what I will use is that I will use model line and I will draw it near the near my walls so that um, I could use it to define the sequence of numbering. So now I'm just drawing it uh, close to the walls because um, with a tool I can define how far away I should be searching for the elements which I want to renumber. In this case it will be walls, but I can do that for any Revit elements. All right? So I have model line in a chain like this. And what I will do next is that I will select all the walls all the same type false in this case and now I will use element numbering from the sort mark tool I will pick parameter which I want to fill with my values and I will click on OK and I will just quickly set up the rules how to renumber these walls so I'm not gonna use grouping or filtering in this case but I will use a couple of parameters which will have influence on the numbering so if any of these selected parameters um, will be different, so the mark of the uh, wall will be also different, right? So I'll, I pick the list of parameters here, then I go to sorting, and then here I will choose element position by model lines, and I will change tolerance value. So this is the distance from model line to my uh, elements, to, so to the center of the wall in this case. And then, all right, I'm just going to skip that. And then in the last step, I will choose this first parameter, calculated sort mark number. This is based on my settings in this tool. So it will start numbering at one. It will have some kind of predefined prefix, for example, like so. I will also use this checkbox. It will let me uh, avoid renumbering elements later on if I'll try to use this tool a couple of times uh, during my design. All right, but now I'm good to go. Uh, these are my settings. I will save this configuration so I can uh, use it in a future project. All right, and then I'll say click on OK. And then I need to pick one of the model lines. Depends where do I click, uh, the, the numbering sequence will be different. So I can click here and it will start numbering from here and it will go around all of the model line or I can choose this side and it will be starting numbering from here. So that's what I will do. Uh, so 52 elements renumbered. Some of them will have same mark values, of course, because some of them are the same. All right, but what I have now here, you see I have different uh, sizes of a wall, so they have different mark values and these are the same. So they have the same mark values and it goes all around perimeter like that, right? And it just follows these model lines. Of course, I can renumber these walls as well. So I can select these and then do same. Element numbering, mark, OK. But in this case, I will just create new configuration. And I will just click on OK. Okay, so I did that for all of my walls. I hope you like it. So stay tuned, subscribe to our YouTube channel and do not miss any other future videos. Have a good day and bye. AGA CAD, building BIM together.